Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you know that we are uploading very informative videos in our channel. This time also we came with uh, another inform uh, important and uh, informative video. So uh, this time we came with uh, food freezing. So you know that food freezing is very important topic from uh, gate point of view also. So let's start the video. Uh, you know that uh, food freezing what does it mean actually food freezing is the lowering the temperature below its freezing point so why we are uh, lowering the temperature below its freezing point is that because when we lowering the uh, temperature below its freezing point then the uh, water changes its, its state from liquid to solid and when it uh, converts to uh, from liquid to solid solid that means ice crystals so uh, what 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 does what happens actually it results in lowering water activity thus it helps to reduce the growth of uh, growth rate of microorganisms that is our purpose for freezing okay and also it helps in uh, lowering other reactions such as enzymatic and oxidation okay these two are also very important so why thawing takes uh, another important thing uh, while food freezing is why Thawing takes more time than freezing. You know, many times you heard that thawing takes more time than the freezing. Actually, during the thawing, the uh, actually uh, thawing that means something that uh, we have to uh, change from solid to liquid. Okay, suppose this is uh, so any solid material. So uh, when thawing starts, that means its out outer layer will be liquid. And outer layer liquid that means its thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity will be less. Okay, but in case of freezing, you know, freezing that means uh, we have to convert from liquid to solid. So first, when it starts nucleus and means small small ice crystal will start. So suppose it is a liquid. So when uh, freezing will start, then the outer layer will become a solid. Okay, and uh, you already know that solid has a more thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity as compared to the liquid medium that is why thawing uh, that is why freezing takes less time compared to the thawing okay so uh, how you will cal calculate the freezing time so for freezing time calculation we are using the planck's equation this is the formula to calculate the freezing time okay tf is equals to rho lambda Tf minus T infinity Pa upon Hc plus Ra square upon K where rho is your uh, density of your product, lambda is the latent heat of fusion, Tf is the initial freezing temperature, T infinity is the, uh, infinity is the temperature of your cooling medium, P and R is the uh, constant which depends on the product C. Okay, later I will discuss. A is the product uh, size suppose it is uh, uh, some solid material so we will see the thickness of that material if it is a rectangle uh, sorry it's a circular that uh, that that time you will see the uh, diameter of that product okay H is the convective heat transfer coefficient and K is your thermal conductivity so for slave uh, let us discuss about the uh, uh, constants okay that p and r which depends on the product shape as already i discussed so if it is slab suppose it is slab that means uh, that time uh, the p value will be 1 by 2 and r value will be 1 by 8 okay and if it is infinitely uh, long cylinder that time the p value will be 1 by 4 and r will be 1 by 16 if it is cube or a sphere that time P will be 1 by 6 and R will be 1 by 24. What you have to do if you don't remember, you just uh, remember the uh, name or sequence slab, infinitely long cylinder and cube or sphere. Then 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 will be uh, P and R uh, respectively. Then you have to multiply 1 by 2 in every one, uh, in every value like 1 by 2, then 1 by 4, 1 by 6 will, it will come. Okay, similarly, it's a multiple of 1 by 2 and it is multiple of 1 by 8. So, in this sequence, you can remember. So, let's discuss the question which already asked in gate 2007. I have selected the question. This is the question which I have selected. A long cylindrical piece of uh, meat having a diameter of 0 0.01 uh, meter containing 
एटी परसेंट मॉइस्चर इज बींग फ्रोजन विथ एयर एट माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इनिशियल टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मीट इज टू माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट इज फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट द हीट ट्रांसफर कोफिशियंट ऑफ द फ्रीजर यूनिट इज ट्वेंटी वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वायर कैलविन इफ डेंसिटी ऑफ द अनफ्रोजन इज थाउजेंड फिफ्टी के जी पर मीटर क्यूब एंड द थर्मल कंडक्टिव ऑफ द फ्रोजन मीट इज वन पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव वॉट पर मीटर कैलविन द लेटेड हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन ऑफ फॉर वाटर इज थ्री थ्री फाइव किलोजूल पर के जी सेप फैक्टर पी एंड आर आर ऑलरेडी गिवन हियर बिकॉज इट इज सिलेंड्रिकल पीस सो ऑलरेडी आई हैव सेट पी विल बी वन बाई फोर एंड आर विल बी वन बाई सिक्सटीन नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फ्रीजिंग टाइम ओके सो I have told already the formula. This is the formula for freezing time calculation. Uh, let us first uh, write all the values. Okay. So from this, uh, for your understanding, you just pause the uh, video and you just see uh, uh, the question. Okay. You write down the values first. So diameter. Diameter means a. A is equal. A is equal. Is equals to zero point zero one meter. Okay. Eighty percent moisture also given. Eighty percent. From you here, you have to calculate latent heat for meat. Okay. So simply, you have to multiply this moisture content point eight into. The latent heat, which is given three three five, so you will get some value that is given in kilojoule per kg, right? So uh, while multiplying, you will get two six eight kilojoule per kg. Okay. This kilojoule per kg you have to convert in joule per kg. For converting this joule per kg, you have to multiply with thousand. Okay, so this will be your lambda. Okay, then. So I have written all the values. T infinity that is your cooling medium. That is air minus thirty degree centigrade. T F is your initial temperature. Okay, initial freezing temperature minus two point five degree centigrade. Convective heat transfer coefficient twenty watt per meter square Kelvin. Uh, rho that is density of the product is thousand fifty kg per meter cube. Thermal conductivity is one point zero two five watt per meter Kelvin. And the uh, constants P is equals to one by four and R is equals to one by sixteen. Then we will write the freezing time calculation formula. That is Planck's equation, rho lambda divided by T T F minus T infinity P A upon H C plus R A square upon K. Now simply you have to put the values, all values in the given formula. So rho is thousand fifty. Uh, lambda is two sixty eight into thousand. T F is equals to minus two point five and T infinity is minus minus plus thirty. Okay. P is what? P is one by four, and A is. Oh, sorry. A is zero point zero one. This is your A, okay? Zero point zero one meter into zero point zero one, okay? Convective heat transfer coefficient twenty plus R one by sixteen. Again zero point zero one the whole square divided by K. K is equals to one point zero two five. Then you have to simplify it, and you will get. One three four one point four. That is in second, but the answer is asked in hours. So one hour is equals to thirty six hundred 
3600 second right so for converting this second into hours you have to divide by 3600 hour so freezing time now 0.373 hours this is your answer see the complete formula uh, understand uh, the average step okay so this is very important formula and uh, this question uh, so many times asked in gate also thanks for watching the video